So uh, my partner Bram's gone back, so I'm hiding back by the turret. I don't want to get taken down by these two, even though I could take Yana because she is quite weak, and uh, that would be quite easy. Sion is still there, and he's he's got a lot of health now. He's probably bought something that has uh, buffed his health there. So if you notice the bottom left, my experience bar is below my uh, character portrait. And I've just gone up to level 6 there. It's blank. But uh, prior to that, it was uh, nearly full. So I've just stunned Yana there. I've decided to activate my ultimate ability, which is Highlander and Wurju, and just go for her. And if you kill somebody with Highlander, it refreshes all of your cooldowns. Uh, here I've been blinded, so I'm not going to bother chasing him because he's saved himself using uh, exhaust. But uh, Highlander basically increases your uh, movement speed by an increasing amount the more you level it up, and also your attack speed. So it's uh, it's a very good uh, DPS power for a melee uh, character. You you can basically make sure that no one can escape you, and you're attacking much faster, so your damage is going to go up tremendously, and uh, Combining, combining that with Wuju style obviously gives you a lot of damage. Here we just tried to uh, push the turret with uh, Severe there, who's that uh, character with the uh, crossblade. And uh, we're just trying to get into this turret and uh, chip it down, wear it down so we can destroy it. I don't know if we do that here or not. Not this time. I'm going to back off for now, probably go into this bush and meditate. Or maybe this one. <laughs> No, I think I might be going to buy something actually. Yes, I am. I'm recalling. You can see how long it takes to recall that bar at the bottom. And I'm going to buy, I think, uh, an emblem of valor and probably Berserker Greaves. Yep, yeah, there's a Berserker Greaves. And it's. I'm checking out the Infinity Edge there, which I'm not about to buy, <laughs> but definitely will later. Uh, where are we? It's just going through the shop here, you can see the different categories. Right. I went and bought a recurve bow for attack speed. <coughs> so that's greatly improved my attack speed from, I think it might have been about 1 to uh, 1 1.39, I think I see down there. Basically, means I'll be attacking uh, 1.4 times a s um, every second. So. It's improved my attack speed dramatically. So attack speed of one means you'll be attacking once. Yeah, you'll be attacking every second, basically. And the max attack speed is two and a half. So I I nearly get killed here. I think I might die. But uh, what happened there was uh, I got stunned by Sion and uh, Twitch, who's a stealth in character, uncloaked himself and started poisoning me with his ranged ability. And uh, they basically went for me, but they don't have the same damage that I do, so. They aren't able to kill somebody as quickly, and uh, I live. So I've used one of my health potions there, and you can see that green glow around me a few seconds ago. So to activate a health potion, you just click on it. I hadn't used too much of them up up until now because just not been. I haven't taken much damage, and I normally use meditate to to uh, forestall having to use the potions. So the potion will restore 200 hit points over uh, 20 seconds. That's what it does, and that's all it does. And after that, it's it's gone. You can't use it again. So I'm gonna have another meditation here, just to get my health back. And uh, in that way, I can stay in the lane without having to go back too much. If another character who doesn't have those abilities or doesn't have life steal had taken that kind of beating, they would have had to have gone back to the uh, summoning pool. <coughs> So here I am just uh, staying behind the minions. Because you're a melee character, you don't always want to be at the front, especially against a ranged hero like Yana, who can just keep shooting at you like that or spam an ability on you. You do want to hang back a bit, even if it means not getting as many last hits or not getting as much experience. Tr do try to stay out of harm's way, because ultimately if you die, that's going to be worse than just surviving and, and leveling up slowly with less gold. <coughs> so that's the uh that's the tactic there that's why I'm hanging back. Severe sometimes does get ahead of me, and I think that sh that's a bit silly, but um yeah, so 
just hanging in the lane here, and I can see it in the map that uh, in the middle. I think we've pushed the we're pushing the uh, the outer turret in the middle, and down the bottom we've destroyed the outer turret. You can see Chindemir uh, moving by the grey, uh, unhighlighted uh, turret down the bottom, which shows that it's been destroyed on the map, basically. <coughs> Um, I've been exhausted there. Before that, you might have saw uh, Sevilla use her spell shield to stop being stunned by Scion. Very good, very good move. And also, it's wasted Scion's uh, ultimate because he activated it thinking he was going to stun Sevilla and he was going to have a go at her. But he's uh, failed to stun her, so she got away. <coughs> so, right now, I know that um, he doesn't have that ability to help him. Oh, and here's here's Bram turning up to stun, to stun Yana, and we just decide to go for her. She uses the heal power to to heal herself and push us away, but I decide I'm not going to have that, so I go back in to get her. And the, <laughs> only Yi can do that. You see uh, the speed I came back right back at her. Uh, no one else was able to get in as quick. Um, again, that's Highlander for you. It's it's an incredibly incredibly powerful ability. You also can't be slowed while it, while it's happening. So the only thing that can really stop Master Yi sometimes is is a stun or a trap, and uh, they have uh, a stun on their team, but I don't think they have any traps. So really, I'm, I've I've been given a rain to go go crazy. But since you can't see you, the enemy team when you choose your character, they have no way of knowing. So it's always a good idea to take a character on your team who can stun, and obviously they have, but it's not enough. So here I'm going into the jungle to uh, jungle a creep, and that's what you saw right before I did a little transition here. I'm back at the shop, and uh, I've just bought Wit's End, which is a uh, magic resistance and attack speed item, and uh, <coughs> it also does uh, it has a mana burn effect, which uh, drains uh, 42 mana per hit and and deals that back as 42 magic damage. So I'm going back into the jungle, and this is a, a wraith creep, which I'm going to alpha strike and uh, take to pieces, and you can see all the gold there. And that's just to uh, get get some gold and get some experience while the uh, the minion waves are very pushed forward, and you don't want to be by the minion wave when it's very pushed forward and you're isolated from your team because you're very susceptible to being uh, ganked or, or taken out. So. You don't always want to be with them in your wave when it's very close to the enemy because it'll be very easy for them to kill you, very hard for you to escape. So what I'm doing here is I'm checking out the uh, Baron, which uh, we'll see later, but it's a very powerful creep. I would I can't take that uh, on my own, uh, probably not till level 18, and I don't think even then I'd want to do it on my own. It's a very powerful uh, creep, but I was just showing you the, the Baron there. <coughs> So here I am, going over to uh, Sevilla, we're going to try and push the bottom I think. So I'm heading through the jungle, which is this area between the lanes as you might have guessed by now. And uh, there's lots of bushes and uh, twists and turns, a lot of places to hide and to go. And what I'm doing here is I'm just looking around, seeing what's going on. I'm going to go push this bottom wave. So here I can see that uh, the enemy, our team has made it all the way into the uh, enemy base and they're attacking the inhibitor, but I'm not going to go there because the rest of the team is there at the moment. Well, well, certainly one of them was and uh, they're near there. If, they, if they're going to make a move, they'll, they'll tell me and I'll go over. But right now I'm going to push this minion wave around and try and get up to the next turret in this lane. <coughs> There's Trindemir, who's uh, on our team. He's been down in this lane the whole time. And uh, our move to bring the minions to the turret has obviously attracted attention, as you can see. And the enemy are here to try and defend it. Now we're making a move on them, and I decide to go along. Just provide some moral support. 